A scene of distraction on a north end Cambridge road this afternoon. A passenger was killed when the driver of a car lost control and went off Chilligo Road and hit a tree. Police and firefighters were called to the scene around 1.30. The driver was taken to Cambridge Memorial Hospital with severe injuries. Traffic investigators are trying to determine what happened. Right now, our investigation is focusing that uh, speed is a major factor. Uh, both the driver and the passenger were belted, and as far as we know right now, alcohol was not a factor. So speed was a leading contributing factor to this crash. Uh. And tonight, police have not released the names of the two men involved in this crash. Police have released the name of a teenager killed Tuesday afternoon in a North Cambridge crash. 18-year-old Frank Foreman died when the driver of a car lost control and went off Chilligo Road and hit a tree. Police and firefighters were called to the scene around 1.30. The driver was taken to Cambridge Memorial Hospital with severe injuries and later transferred to a Hamilton hospital. This is CKCO News at 6. Good evening. It's been a difficult day for people close to Frank Foreman. The teenager was killed in a car crash yesterday afternoon. As CKCO's Lisa Bragg reports, his friends knew something was wrong when he didn't show up to help name his new band. This is the hardest walk these high school students have had to make, going to the spot where their friend Frank Foreman was killed. The 18-year-old was the passenger in a car traveling north on Shilligo Road Monday afternoon when the driver lost control, hitting the tree. Police say speed is the focus of their investigation. The music from a car radio, memories of the last time friend and Galt Collegiate teacher Wendy Higgins heard Foreman play his guitar. It's kind of good that we could all grieve together as one because being a teenager is difficult to learn, you know, to have to lose a friend that was so close to you at such a young age. Friends say he was known by practically everyone at Galt Collegiate after his performances at the school concerts. Other friends were too distraught at the impromptu memorial to speak, but earlier, when they gathered, just like they do every day during the school year at the local Tim Hortons, Chris Chalk told us about his friend. Hell of a musician. Best guitar player in Cambridge. He's going to be missed by everybody in Cambridge. Everyone knew him. An all-day tsunami benefit concert Frank Foreman helped organize for April 30th will now also be a memorial benefit. Lisa Bragg, CKCO News, Cambridge. The driver remains in a Hamilton hospital with serious head injuries. Police are withholding his name while they decide if charges should be laid.